Hey, it's Dry Bear. Right now in World of Warcraft, there is a feature that exists that will automatically take action on players who receive a certain number of reports from other players. And this feature has landed me a one week account wide silence, which means I cannot use the pre made group feature for raids or for Mythic Plus and or even Arena. I cannot respond to whispers or talk in any public chat channel until this one week silence has been lifted. So today we're going to talk about exactly what happened, what can happen, how this automatic report system can land on your account. And you're welcome to comment down below if you feel that the punishment fits the crime, if I deserve the one week silence, or if you think things should be handled differently. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you can find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash dry bear. So let's talk about what happened and what went down. So uh, this week and last week, I've been running community raids. So basically I would start a group, allow people into the group, uh, make the group as big as I can get. And the goal was to find people that had, uh, you know, they, their friends weren't playing anymore, so they were all alone, or they weren't uh, they, part of a guild, or they couldn't find a group to clear the raids, but they wanted to do the raids, right? They wanted to do the content, they wanted to clear it, uh, and they had fun doing so. So I wanted to uh, use my community to allow people to come together, I would raid lead, uh, explain all the fights, help people understand what's going on. If they can ask questions, they're certainly welcome to, to help teach and uh, to get people loot at the end of the day. Uh, and I had done this all throughout the first week of the reset for Vault of the Incarnates. Uh, we got uh, almost three full clears uh, through Razageth. Uh, we got people some dragons. We got people uh, some loot. However, this week, right after the first reset, uh, I started doing the same thing again. And uh, upon starting the group, I got about... 20 people into the group, and then all of a sudden I got disconnected, which wasn't all that weird. It happens all the time. Either an add-on goes awry or something happens. Uh, so I disconnect, I join back in, and it says that my character, uh, the character, the character already exists with the same name. Again, weird things happen. I've had some issues with dragon writing uh, where you get into a weird state. You get under the level or under the sub-level, something weird goes on. Uh, so as I, I try to get back in, it takes a couple minutes, then I get back into the game, and I find out that I had been given a one week silence on my account. If you don't know what silences are, it's essentially a soft suspension on your account. Uh, this can happen to any of the Blizzard games and you may have had this happen to you or someone that you know, but you're not able to, you can see whispers, but you can't reply to them. You can't talk in global channels. You cannot create calendar events. You can't send in-game mail unless it's to one of your characters. You can't send party invites uh, and you can't say war game or dual, invita uh, dual invitations. You cannot use the pre-made groups tool at all, which includes uh, even just looking at it or viewing groups, um, which means that it has been a challenge to do uh, world bosses or obsidian farming or any of that stuff because I cannot use the pre-made group tool at all whatsoever. You can't send or receive arena team or guild invitations, and you cannot speak in Battle.net chat, Battle chat at all. Uh, so this is what's applied to my account for a week through the whole week, and because I cannot use the pre-made group tool, uh, it's making it almost impossible to do any amount of raid content or Mythic Plus content uh, unless someone makes the group and then sends me an invite. Because if I'm in the group or raid for at all, they cannot use the tool either. It tells them that there's a, a, a near do well in the group uh, that's preventing them from using the tool. So you cannot queue up, you cannot find pugs, you can't use the pre-made group tool. So the question uh, it needs to be asked, what did I do and what happened? And the answer, as far as I can tell, is the name of the custom group here. And this is something that some people have a strong opinion on, and you're welcome to comment down below what your opinion is. Uh, but I had uh, listed here TTV slash Dry Bear because I was streaming, I was answering questions in chat, uh, it was a community thing, but um, it's not listed in their official code of conduct. I've looked through their code of conduct, I've looked through their user agreement, it's not listed explicitly anywhere, but on the forums, the customer support reps have responded saying uh, that advertising of any kind is not allowed and can be reported, and those reports can be acted on. So uh, it seems to me that the, the having TTV slash Dry Bear in this uh, pre-made group title uh, is what landed me a one-week silence across my entire World of Warcraft account. Um, so there it is right there. So it it kind of was confusing at first because when I got the email that I was silenced, it didn't actually list what I had done wrong. It says that you uh, have been reported on your LFG post for violating the code of conduct 
uh, and it, it original, initially said we've modified the account, and then um, in the same instant uh, said that I'd applied a one week silence on it, which is listed right here. I've gone through all of this um, uh, word for word, and I don't see anything listed here specifically around um, advertising or uh, using like a link to your stream in that kind of way. Um, even if it's roundabout, uh, obviously I was uh, linking there, but it's just behavior that detracts from enjoyment, griefing, throwing, feeding, and the reference that was said in the email said that uh, I was reported for abusive language and repeated uh, reports of abusive language will land a silence, which is what it gave me. So, um, so far from, at least from official communications, uh, it, is, it is clear that uh, my, my LFG post was abusive in some way. And I initially thought that this was done after uh, being reported saying, hey, this person's advertising. They got a re, uh, an initial report, something that, that reflected that. And then they had someone uh, in like look at that, like some kind of customer service rep or something like that. They had looked at it and they had uh, actually just applied the actual, okay, this person's advertising. You know, they haven't had any issues, but we have a minimum one week silence for this. There you go. Um, but after I looked at a fellow creator, Stay, uh, Stay Safe TV, he actually tested this out because there were reports in Classic that if you get mass reported in LFG, you get a seven day silence. People were saying that it's a lie, that it's not real, it doesn't work. And so Stay Safe decided to test this out himself and see, is this actually functional? So in this social experiment here, I'll link to his video down below if you want to check it out. He just got a bunch of his uh, viewers to come up to him. Um, in one area, got in a raid group and said, guys, report me. Just just target me, report me, see what happens. And what happens to him here is exactly what happened to me as I was making the group. And so I think this is pretty obvious that this is a uh, automated feature so that if you get a certain number of reports, either in a short period of time or in general, um, obviously I had that post up. So uh, whoever was just looking at that um, had just been reporting me. Um, if that hits a certain threshold, whatever that is, uh, you will automatically have a one week silence applied to your account, um, account wide, and it has the effects that we talked about earlier. Um, and it, I think it's very clear that this is not something that is uh, looked at or moderated by hand. It's just if there's enough, if whatever conditions are met, your account gets immediately hit. So you can see after a few seconds of him saying, hey guys, report me, um, about 10, 15 seconds have gone by. The exact same thing that happened to me has happened to him. Got disconnected, he'll come back. Same thing that happened to me. It'll say that your character, a, char a, a character with your character name already exists. You have to wait like a minute before you can get back in. You get back in and you have a one week silence automatically applied to your account. So the question I wanted to pose to you is, does the punishment fit the crime? And should there be an automatic punishment feature if reports show up? Uh, I mean, the goal of this for me was just to get people through. We got plenty of people through the raid, got them loot. I was helping people individually through uh, whispers and through Twitch chat, saying, hey, if you don't understand this mechanic, I'll help you learn it. Um, and all of it was just meant to be good. Uh, and so now, unfortunately, I am locked out for the week. I can't really complete uh, my vault on my characters for any serious content because I can't use the group finder tool at all. I would have to go in a very roundabout way to get people to make the group. And then if any of the pugs leave, uh, then they would have to, I would have to leave the group so they could add people and then come back in because I can't be in the group. Um, and, and so it's just kind of like this huge uh, sucking the wind, the, the air out of my lungs and knocking me down because I, I felt like I was just trying to help. Um, I could understand if there was a clear code of conduct being displayed uh, saying, hey, this is an example of bad advertisement if there was any clear notification on what happened or possibly, preferably even a warning or some uh, delineation as to why this was happening and what it would look like. Uh, and then obviously to me, having a pre-made group title that isn't a racial slur or is anything uh, offensive in that way, it's just, hey, it's, it's part of their rules. They don't officially state it, but they do enforce it. Um, hey, by the way, this is what it is. I could understand maybe like a 24 hour ban or an eight hour ban. Um, but to me, the baseline automatic silence that gets applied to your account without oversight is one week. And now I, I lose a week of progress on all my characters. Is, uh, it's, it's quite demoralizing and it's not fun. So that's the question I have for you. Do you think that this is something that should exist? 
Um, or do you feel like, uh, hey, I put TTV in my title, I, I get what, you know, F around, find out, I get what I deserve. Uh, next time, don't put anything relating to your title uh, listed in there. And the reason I had to, I'd put it there anyways is more just to kind of help people, I mean, self-promotion obviously, but to help people come into chat and ask questions, which many people were doing, but also because I saw it all over the pre-made group finder. Uh, these are snapshots that I've seen just, uh, just today of people using uh, viewer battlegrounds, viewer arenas, viewer raids, where they list TTV slash the exact same way that I did, or they have their Twitch name with TV after it listed there as well. Uh, and so I, to me, because I was seeing it all over the pre-made group, I figured it was something that was allowed. So I guess the big distinction here is not whether or not you did it, it's whether or not people report you for it, uh, and if they report enough of you. Which to me means that if this feature is automatically triggered, punishment is automatically driven out based on other player reports, it's concerning because, I mean, that's why we have due process in judicial systems, is to prevent abuse and prevent uh, things like this from becoming weaponized. So that if you don't like someone or you're upset with someone or you want someone to suffer, you can't just go and uh, mass report them and cause them to get punished automatically with a system that doesn't really pay close attention to who's getting affected by it and who isn't. Uh, so that's my story. That's where I'm at. I'm just leveling characters and doing primal storms because uh, I, until uh, I put a ticket in two days ago. I haven't heard back. Um, I put in another note to it. I sent an email. Uh, there's nothing. I'm just not getting a response. Just radio silence and my account is uh, is stifled, silenced, locked out for the week. So let me know what you think. Curious what your thoughts are. Uh, if, if nothing changes, I'll just do my time. And next time, uh, I guess I'll just uh, put, no, I'll just put uh, fresh uh, I'll just put the name of the raid in, in the title and, and, and list nothing, put no specifics, have no name, um, and just and, and hope that's enough and hope that whoever decided to uh, mass report me before doesn't decide to do so again uh, so that the automatic feature uh, applies that to my account once again. Because if the minimum is one week, who knows what the second amount is? Probably a month. And then at that point, then I just go play another game. Uh, yeah. So let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I won't list my Twitch because it's abusive, but uh, yeah, I do stream somewhere every day if, you're want, if you want to come by and say hi. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.